ancient wisdom taught that a horse-drawn chariot pulled the sun across the sky. In 1990, the American Solar Challenge was born. Originally called Sun Race USA, this race was created in an effort to promote automotive engineering and solar energy among college students. Today, the best and brightest band together to push the technology further than ever before. Running from Independence, Missouri, to Twin Falls, Idaho, this eight-day cross-country race is the ultimate test of endurance and collaboration. Nothing breeds innovation quite like competition. The chariots of today seek to unlock the power of the sun. These students will soar to unimagined heights, to the edge of the unknown. Principia is a small liberal arts college in Elsa, Illinois. Despite its finite resources, they have become a serious contender for this year's race. I feel excitement around us too. You know, we're a small team, only 400 students at Principia. MIT has been at the forefront of engineering and innovation for decades. They are the reigning champions of last year's race and seek to retain their crown. Nothing less than victory will suffice. In 2014, the University of Illinois started with just a handful of engineers. Today, they have over 100 students and a real chance for a podium finish. If this team is going to win, for now, they must get their vehicle running. Hi, my name is Charles Wang. I'm from Los Gatos, California. I am a rising sophomore, and this summer I will be an electrical pit crew member for Illini Solar Car. Coming into the race, I'm pretty nervous actually, because we haven't had too much experience with the car. Being on Illini Solar Car means having a group of passionate people working with you towards the same goal. Right now, we haven't tested our car as thoroughly as we wanted to, and it's very important from a strategy perspective to have a lot of experience with the car and how it runs. Building a car is a laborious endeavor. Between homework and finals, these students must juggle an insane amount of responsibility. We haven't driven this car with that fuse on. The lights are off. They turned on. No, I turned the car quite on, then I turned the car quite Giving on. Giving us that is like shut down. I'm looking forward to finally getting to drive the car in a competitive manner and where the stakes are high and being in an actual competition instead of just practicing. If the battery's on fire, I'm diving in to save you. Yeah. What did you do, with cars? Bro, all I do is move. Did you disconnect your... I don't know what it is. Again. No, 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 this will be spliced into one connector. These two become one. Well, a big four pin? No. So all of these, we're preserving functionality of these three. These two will be spliced into one connector. So we're still doing these. So you're these doing like an adapter yes. in the middle? Yes. But if we have the board, why don't we just put the headers on the board and not have to have this extra like spliced wire or something? Is there one more? Today we're testing MPPT. We have three working. We want four for the race. Trying to figure out what card it is exactly so we can replace it. Turns out I just crimped everything wrong. <laughs> it's very unfortunate on my end. The connector issue, but it was just me being dumb. In engineering, just as in life, there is no shame in trial and error. Because basically we have to incorporate BMS. This Would Wait, it get half on a board any better than or just soldering, fully soldering straight yeah. to the pins? Like, no. Actually, such a stupid issue. But I mean, unless we have our done. team motto instead of like tomorrow. Yeah, well connector or issue. <laughs> I hope it's not. Or I hope it's. What is it being powered from right now? The car. The DC, DC. Yeah. Can you probe the DC? Yes. Okay, ready. I have pretty mixed emotions as far as getting the car ready for the race goes. There's still a lot of things we need to fix from last year. Actually, no, that should be right. Yeah. To sustain nonstop travel in the summer heat, these cars must walk a fine line between mechanical and electrical balance. Communication between every department is vital. Can we test this DC DC low and see if it can give 200 milliamps current? If a single wire is crossed, the whole system fails. 
Clark, that's you. Are on. Sorry, there's static. Hard work and dedication requires the occasional blowing off steam. All nighters and midnight shenanigans are common occurrences on every college campus. Hey guys, let's start with just trying to accelerate slowly forward. 15%. The thing that's most different driving the solar car from a normal car is there's no gas pedal. You only have a brake pedal. And the way you accelerate is actually with an encoder on the steering wheel, which is kind of like a dial that you're turning to speed up and slow down. With less than a month to the race, the Illinois team feels the pressure to take the car out for a spin. The first challenge will be scrutineering. If their vehicle can't pass the meticulous inspection, they will lose their chance to qualify. Okay, so today is Sunday, June 5th, and we are prepping Brizo to get it out on the road today, testing dynamics with all of our new drivers. I, I think it's taking uh, more to get going, because I don't move to like 20%. Uh, there's only one way for this car to go. Yeah, we're just posting. Tara D'Souza from Illinois. Wait, 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 let me try. She has worked her way up the team and now plays a critical role in mentoring her junior classmates. Uh, this will actually be the first time we were driving as a convoy in the last few months. Before they are allowed on the track at tomorrow's qualifying race, each team must pass a series of tests to prove they are road ready. So one of the requirements is being less than 80 kilograms. So you have to fit in the roll cage in a very specific way. First, the figure eight. Next, the slalom. And finally, braking. Good. It's July 1st. After years worth of building and rebuilding, teams transport their cars to Kansas. I began this event back in 1990, back when it was called Sun Race. I've been scrutineering long enough now. I've seen everybody in this event and scrutineered their cars. If the car doesn't break and they've done their work, then they'll be able to go out on the racetrack and do so many laps before they can proceed to the American Solar Challenge. With over 20 teams trying to qualify for spots, the competition is fierce and experience varies. Principia College is hoping for its big break. Where these vehicles lack in combustion, their teams make up for it with burning ambition. And the scrutineering is happening up in that big building called the Tech Center, where we actually take the car apart, put it back together again, and make sure she still runs. And then once they do that, we let them go out on the course and do dynamics, which is the shake them down test for the track race. The teams that just scrape by, they're sometimes the best teams because they've had to struggle and fight and learn and do all of it on their own skin. Some teams come in that have good teamwork and no car at all. And then some teams come in with no teamwork and the best car, and they won't be successful. Technical like challenges can be overcome, so it's teamwork. I'm most excited about passing other teams on the race. It seems kind of fun just looking out the window and just seeing like another teams passing by them. I feel nervous, I feel giddy. Last year we built the car right before the race. That car was nothing yes. compared to what we have now. I'm kind of scared for when all 21 cars get on the track. It's going to be dense. Managing a team of 25 for two weeks as you travel across the country with a solar-powered car, a little more complex than I anticipated. Each car that made the cut will now move on to qualify at the Formula Sun Grand Prix. 